soldiers finally coming home, combat wounded troops asking for a birthday wish. These images draw tens of thousands of likes, comments, and shares on social media. A semi loaded with American flags, a jetliner full of heroes flying to a D-Day commemoration. But look closer at the veterans' hands. Their plane has no aisle. High-ranking uniformed children in wheelchairs. A soldier saves the hobbly while those returning troops are in cars with only one seat. And the flag semi is on the wrong side of the interstate. Babies, sometimes in body armor and combat medals, outrank their parents who have three arms. This two-headed mother is with the U.S. Amy. These images are all AI generated, and they flood pages with names like Proudly American. Atlanta News First Investigates discovered these patriotic Facebook pages have U.S. addresses that don't exist and are actually managed overseas in foreign countries. This is cyber warfare. It is. Douglas Frazier retired from the U.S. Air Force as a four-star general. Carry on, please. But he can also be found responding to comments on these AI images, telling older women they're pretty. It's fake. I have found nothing I can do to make it stop. And you've tried. And I've tried. Atlanta News First Investigates found multiple General Frazier clones on social media, claiming to be widowers looking for love. How many General Douglas Frasers are on Facebook alone at any given time? Well, my wife has recently checked and she says right now there are 300 plus. 300 plus General Douglas Frasers and not one of them is real. I'm not on Facebook. My partner? My soulmate, uh, my darling wife, Rena. These fake General Frasers are widowers. They're looking for love. Uh, all throughout this time, I've, I've been happily married. My wife's been alive. You don't know me. Tell your husband, text me back, I'm his wife. So she thinks she's his wife? I'm sorry, ma'am, I'm his wife. Impersonators of real U.S. generals appear all over the comments, many labeled government official. Atlanta News First Investigates scrolled through hundreds of Facebook accounts claiming to be the chief of staff of the Army and never reached the end after five minutes. These generals directly ask widows to friend them. That was my downfall right from the beginning, believing the first person that talked to me, that he loved me, that he was going to make a wonderful life for us. Jeannie Wasserman thought she had fallen in love with a military officer stationed in the Middle East. After a year-long online romance, he told her he needed money for a chopper ride out of Syria. How much money did you end up sending him in total? I think it comes out to 138000 You handed more than $130,000 to a scammer when you thought he was a military officer who loved you. Yeah. This was your life savings he took. Yeah. Was it everything? It was everything. I just broke down crying. I really let my family down. Atlanta News First Investigates obtained computer files labeled the Nigerian Scammers Playbook that we verified as authentic. Page after page of background stories, love letters, instructions on how to fake video calls, and copy and paste responses that allow a scammer to cultivate a manufactured romance one text at a time. He would send me a song every day that was, of course, a love song. Then say how much he loved me and all this stuff. And you thought you were talking to your future husband. In reality, you were talking to a script that the scammers share with each other. Mm -hmm. There's breaking the bank and then there's breaking your heart. Yeah, and both of that happened. To know that foreign scammers, foreign operatives are using your name and likeness to victimize Americans. Well, it's heart-wrenching to me, mainly because of the impact it has on individuals who don't deserve uh, to be scammed in the way and hurt in the way they are. General Frazier swore an oath that his clones did not, all enemies, foreign or domestic. Now he's facing artificial patriots, fake generals, and real victims. Uh, we got a call from a lady who said, can you do anything to help my mom because she's continued to contribute and she called my wife back. Her mom, if I remember right, had killed herself because she'd given her whole life savings, 200,000 euros, uh, to these scammers. There's literally a body count because- Yes. 
We called several numbers victims told us their scammers used. Hi, this is Brendan Keefe. I'm an investigative reporter. We want to find out why you're scamming people, why you're pretending to be a military officer in the United States when you're actually overseas. The text reply, send gift cards, then I will give you the whole story. We don't pay for the truth, even when others have paid for the lies.